So ladies and gentlemen, this could be a slightly different video today. For a change, <laughs> the main mechanic is a boy. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, the old man's going to have to help though. Apologies for the wind. Let me let's step in here a minute because the wind's going to be horrendous because it's hailing today. Um, so yeah, a little job on the MR2 today. And uh, basically involves taking wheels off. Well, jacking up first, taking wheels off and top struts that need changing. So let me show you what we've got while the boy gets ready. There we go. We've got some, yeah, some of them. So they are going on top of the suspension struts because the one at the moment, when he backs up, goes kickum goom boom. Sim similar to that. Isn't that how it goes? Well, you can see where the actual bolt is. Um, it's not exactly centre. Ah, yeah, I think that. Um, now, what do they call that in the trade? Oh, yeah, screwed. <laughs> I think there's a different word for it, but you can't use it on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Does it sound like something you do with a ball? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get it jacked up and let's get this sorted. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't think it's June. <laughs> it's like the middle of winter again. <laughs> well, it was nice yesterday, and I thought, well, it'll seem to be a bit like race racing ball. And, um, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was, yeah, you're right, it was warmish yesterday, but today it's horrible. Ugh, not good, yeah, it's, um, oh, it's a bluish sky. There, look, but the wind, well, you can hear on the mic, I'm sure it's it's blowing the blooming gale and you can't really hear me too well, but not good. Right, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> airline's out. You should have used my new gun. There. <laughs> yeah. I like this working thing. Standing here watching people do it. It's brilliant. A little bit of jacket action. Yeah, a bit of movement on there. Hmm. I'll tell you what, MR2s are hilarious. Well, not hilarious, but the design. So the back end is actually a front wheel drive car. So it's back, basically, it's the subframe of a front wheel drive car. Which one was it, the Carina? Uh, Corolla. Corolla. So it's a Corolla that's turned around to make it back wheel drive. But when you look at the front, let me, let me take you under the car. Look at this. So you've got, where, where the dry shafts would have gone through on the hub, you've got a blanking plate. How about that, eh? I mean, they've basically just robbed the parts bin. <laughs> Good cars, but yeah. Bits of everything. Okay. Formula One pit stop. Yeah, they don't have this trouble. <laughs> I had the same problem with just one of them yesterday as well. <laughs> God, where did these come from? Wish. <laughs> no, they're actually good ones, but for some reason all your tools like to eat them. <laughs> Not my tools. It's your dodgy stuff. The trick I found is don't go all the way to the base of them. Yeah, they're tapered up at the bottom. Yeah, and then that's what eats them. <laughs> English. Whoa. That rusty. <laughs> Have you got oh that's some the coat? Yeah. Right, so the bolts we need. Those. Those two. Those there. How are they gonna come out? Not a chance! <laughs> you never know, you might be lucky. <laughs> Crack. That's what it's doing. Can you hear that? Crack. Look at that. Yeah, that's... That's, um... It's a bit free willy. <laughs> <laughs> right. 22 on there, I think. Something along those lines. Let's go. On the bungee. 19 mil. Hammer time! Oh, 
さ Can lose, so that's one done. Not so bad. Then what he's panicking about? Well, I said it'd be easy. No, <laughs> you panic. You just got one more now. This one will be your bitch one. <laughs> ah, this one's break. Naturally, <laughs> break your tools. Yes. <laughs> I thought so. Give it some razzle dazzle. <laughs> Not powerful enough. <laughs> uh, this might call for a little bit of um break bar. Break them up. Swayze juice. As you do. You're turning it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna break that knuckle though. Need a little extension, really. Back first thing in the morning. <laughs> that sounds like my knees. Oh, bloody heck. That was tricky. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little uh, 
Nasty. Important tip, keep your nuts and bolts together. Mm. <laughs> keep them well oiled. Yes. Keep your nuts well lubricated. Yeah, the car is probably older than some people watching this video. <laughs> Still on the road after all these years. Yep. Don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Old things were just built properly. Yeah, the rust takes over. Yes. When rust takes over. Right, that 10 mil's got to come off there and that'll more than likely break. Yep. Yeah. That's your wheel speed sensor. Is it or is it the ABS? Well, it's the same sort of thing. Nah. Wheel speed sensor, ABS, it all does the same thing, it's all the same sort of job. Give it a little wiggle. Not stand a fighting chance of it coming out in one piece. <laughs> Rather than having to cable tie it back on again. Nah, cable ties. Japanese. Nope. <laughs> no chance. Right. Wrench wheel tap. Hey! Look at that. I don't know what you're worried about. That was easy. <laughs> so now it's just um, four bolts of it. And then it should just uh, drop. It should just fall on your head. Pretty much. Hey! It's exactly what you want. Right. Let's do it. I'll leave the last bolt here, you can catch it. Mm -hmm. That means no video. <laughs> Unless I can one hand it. <laughs> Ready? He, he's trying. Go on. Okay, come on, camera. Feels like it's hooked up on something. Ah, it is. <laughs> Dumbass. What? That bar. I cannot see a bar. Oh, that That's bar. bar. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to screw it up, boy. Timber! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what we're doing here. We're professionals. Well, yeah. there's a suspect. Yeah, it's probably worse than expected though. That's yes. rotted away. Don't need a bearing in there at all. 
Yeah, but that needs replacing as well. Ah. Because there's not much holding your spring in anymore. Okay, but that is definitely seen the best days of its life. It's probably time to hit eBay. Oh. So, yeah, as you can see, um, it's pretty much rotted away. Um, a lot worse than I think what either of us expect, expected, but um, yeah, not good. So, I'm now going to strike the fear into every known man that's ever worked on a car or a spring. Yeah, it's uh, spring compressor time. So, um, wish me luck, and um, if this video ends here, it, it's been nice knowing you. Whew. I've got away with it. The spring is loose. It's not in the greatest of condition. Mm. I, think, uh, I think a new strut is needed. I've always just gone on to eBay now. See what's available. But trouble with old cars, you can't always find what you want. And grey, it's just started raining. Oh, jeez. Right, the strut top's off. Yeah, that, that was... Um, that was broken. Yeah, that bearing is completely disintegrated and rusted up. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the more I'm, the more I'm unfolding, the worse things are definitely getting. Oh dear. Well, the good news is we've got some of these ordered directly from Toyota, but the bad news is that top cap there is well and truly embedded onto that screw. So I'm um, struggling at the moment. Don't mind destroying the outer ring, but um, certainly don't want to destroy that securing bolt just there. Um, Slightly annoying, but eh, older cars for you. Yeah, something definitely went wrong here. So <laughs> getting this part off was the easy bit. Um, getting that cap off, not so easy. Apparently it's supposed to um, just hammer off. And uh, it's just not doing so far. And uh, yeah, I seem to be on my own again. All by myself. Oh dear. Well, what a job that was so it does just come straight off but it was pretty much welded itself in with rust i had to butcher it to get it off but hey it's done right spring out managed to save all this so yeah the bottom half's okay uh yeah it's just rust holding it but i as you can see i had to absolutely muller it <laughs> Good grief. Right, that's about as far as we can go today. Um, everything needs now to be shored up, made sure that it's not going to fall or go anywhere, and uh, now we're just waiting for bits. Henry boy. Parts. From Toyota. Yes. How much were they for two of these? Let, let's show the punters. Two of these marvellous bits of tin. Yeah, pretty much uh, 70 quid. <sighs> Ever buy an old car? <laughs> well, I did see some for hundred quid, so I was like, no, I'll have the seventy quid ones. So right. Same ones. Okay. Well, that is that is about it for now. So, um, thanks for joining us so far. I'm sure there'll be a part two where I struggle to fix what isn't my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's all good fun. Right, let's get it stable and let's let's get washed. <laughs> Right, that's about as far as we can go on this side. So, next, this side. Oh joy. Well, we got on with it. We got it out. It actually didn't come out too bad, this one, but um, let's demonstrate the problem here. Listen to this. Yeah, that's um, broken. <laughs> and that top bracket doesn't seem to be any looser than the other side as well so I think I might destroy that one I'm trying to get it out as well but you got two ordered yeah yeah right that's good so I'm gonna take the executive decision of undoing the bolt and using the spring to try and press that off it's uh, a bit unorthodox shouldn't really be doing it but I'll turn the camera off and um, 
It's not snowing you all. <laughs> That's alright, we've got uh, plenty of stuff that we could hit around here, so... Uh... <laughs> right, let's, um, let's do something that you should never do. And we'll switch this off while we do it. Well, that didn't come off too bad. It literally went... There's not much tension on these springs, they're big springs anyway. So they don't really compress too much. Uh, there's no weight on the front end of these anyway. But yeah, that one's alright. But Nathan wants to put the new ones on, so this will be on eBay. If you've got an MR2, there you go. It's a decent strut top. Uh, I'd use it again, personally. It's, uh, it's no rot on it at all, actually. It's like new. But there you go. Always got two. Coming. All used to. Right, I'm clean this up. Um, I'm going to paint these in Pour 15, um, just because all the coatings come off them and they're starting to get some surface rust so clean them up put some pour 15 on them and um, yeah it will be a um, a paintbrush rebuild <laughs> job done right that is it for now tidy up get everything chopped up get everything sorted out um, as you can see this one was uh, was no better than the last one they really are past their the very very best so it will drive like a brand new car when this is finished and uh, that, I think, is where we call it that. <laughs> right. Bye.